Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE dishwasher upper dish rack roller. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new upper dish rack roller. The upper dish rack roller is what goes on the upper rack and it allows the rack to roll in and out of the dishwasher. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's lost or damaged. In order to change the part, we have to open up the dishwasher door and remove the upper rack. To get the rack out, you want to grab the rails and pull them out so we can get the end caps off. The end caps come off by just turning these and then pulling them out. You want to make sure you turn them towards the inside of the dishwasher. If you have the new style end cap, all you have to do is get behind it with a small flathead screwdriver to release the locking tab and then you can pull it off the rail. With the end caps off, we can pull out the upper rack and carefully set it on the counter. We're going to change the rear roller on the upper rack. There's four of them. They're all changed out the same way. They sell the axle and the roller separately, but in order to get the roller off, we have to take the axle off. So we're just going to press on this release tab right here and push it down. Once you have the roller off, we can take a needle nose pliers and compress this little release together and then push the roller off once you get it squeezed together. Here's the old upper dish rack roller next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. In order to put the new roller on, all you have to do is push it onto the old axle. Once you have it on and locked in place, we can put it back onto the rack. All you have to do is slide it onto this arm right here. And once you have it on, then you can rotate it up and lock it in place. Now the way the part installed, we can put the upper dish rack back in. All you have to do is line up the wheels with the rails and push it back into place. Once you have it all the way in, we can pull the rails out so we can put the end caps back on. To put the end cap on, you want to line it up and get this first section on. Once you have it in the rail, you want to turn the end cap towards the center of the dishwasher and push it on the rest of the way and so it locks in place. The other side goes in the same way. If you have the new style end cap, all you have to do is push it in so it locks in place. Now we can push the rack back in and close the dishwasher door. Now that you're done repairing the appliance, you can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.